Hello folks and welcome to Insomnia 62! Well, I've done my first lap of the event. It's, it's as big as these events ever are. Insomnia is buzzing for a Saturday afternoon. It's always going to be the busiest times to be in somewhere like this, but it is absolutely heaving with people. Unbelievably, over there, we've got people queuing up to play Fortnite, a free-to-play game. It's available on everything, but it's just busy, busy, busy. Not a massive, massive selection of playable games from what I've seen so far. There's a lot of YouTubers here. We've got Syndicate over here. We're probably the biggest queue in the entire building at the moment and there's a few other little YouTuber signing and merch stands scattered around the event. Doesn't seem to be one for Kev, very disappointing. Um, as usual, lots of places to buy merch, buy games, but aside from the big PlayStation area that's over there that's got God of War available on it and the Sea of Thieves party bus, which is obviously for a game that's already out, there's not masses to play here at the moment. It's not necessarily what I would expect. As usual, we've got all the indie game selections here as well. But to be honest, I'm going to EGX Resed in two weeks' time, which is a whole event dedicated to that kind of stuff. So I don't think I necessarily need to go and play that kind of thing here. I might go and join the God of War here. Hi, uh, what's your name again? Emma. Emma, good to meet you, Emma. You are now in tomorrow's vlog. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> huh? Are you on YouTube? I am. Respect everyone, follow, subscribe, all that. <laughs> what he said. He knows what's what. And um, we've discovered the insomnia clearance sale, which he's loving it, as you can see. And um, that bit might have got edited out. Um, we have loads of jumpers and stuff. Hooray for jumpers! One for the uh, long time viewers. Who'd have thought that not packaging the game with the statue would lead to them having a whole load of statues that they're selling off cheap at a convention? What a remarkable turn of events. Here's Kev's tip of the day. If you've never ever been to a gaming convention and you're considering going to one for the first time, don't go on a Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoons are crazy, crazy busy. Can't move, can't queue for anything. Don't even know what half of the queues are for. You kind of have to join the queue on a whim, not knowing what you're queuing for, and then when you get to the other end of it, it might be something that was worth queuing for. Slight problem. I've just turned the computer on, got it set up here ready for the tournament tomorrow, and the game crashed. My graphics drivers aren't up to date. I'm starting to think I probably should have brought my proper PC. As a backup, I have got my MacBook in the hotel, which can run Football Manager. But I don't have any of the streaming software or anything on there, so that's there as a backup option if this one does just completely fall over. But it does run Football Manager really, really slowly. But this, this is what I'm sitting looking at now. This computer is officially dead to me, it's just a piece of junk. Piece of junk, this, this is junk. It won't run Football Manager. It won't run Football Manager Touch. It's just crashing, crashing, crashing. Luckily, because I'm Kev, in addition to having four cameras with me, I have two computers. So I now need to head to the hotel and see if I can get the streaming software running on my MacBook. Football Manager runs fine on it. I play most of my Football Manager on my MacBook. It's just whether I can stream from that. So at the moment, the streaming is in doubt. Obviously, by the time this vlog comes out, you already know if I streamed or not. But it's a cliffhanger for me. Right, I've officially given up with trying to get my computer working. I'm now heading to my hotel to try and test the stream software on my MacBook. Because I need to be able to stream stuff. So I know the game works, but it needs to be the streaming stuff. So fingers crossed that works. I'm then 
got to be back here at the train station in two hours because we're going out for some dinner in Birmingham. Barbecue, which I somehow, somehow need to figure out how to navigate barbecue without having any processed food. I might be quite hungry tonight. I'm staying in a completely different hotel to what I always stay in when I come to the NEC. Normally, I'm completely over the other side. It's a nice open area, car park. You come in the front door to the NEC, all is good. I'm currently following the signs to my hotel and it's basically brought me out the back of the train station. The airport is just there, I think. It doesn't look like there's much in the way of hotels back here. I am a little bit worried about what I've let myself in for. I mean, I feel justifiably terrified that every other signpost in the whole complex points the opposite way to the one for my hotel. And it's so dangerous here that we've got this little cordoned off pedestrian area and we're only allowed to walk following this blue line that's on the floor in front of me. Well, yeah, actually, isn't too bad in the end. Looks like a perfectly acceptable hotel. What a weird way out of the NEC though. It was a secret staircase just next to the train station and then basically walking through an industrial estate. I'm happy doing this now. I'm going to be less happy doing that on my own after coming back on a late train from the centre of Birmingham in the dark. I mean there are some street lights. Might be an Uber tonight I think. Well, panic over about the computer. My laptop's still not working. I've left that in the NEC, actually. I probably need to grab that at some point. But I'm downloading Football Manager and the streaming software onto my MacBook really painfully slowly on hotel Wi-Fi. It's been like an hour and a half. It's nearly done now. Um, but that should run fine. The one downside to that is that there's no Ethernet port on the MacBook, I'd need to buy an adapter, which I don't have, so I'm gonna have to do it using Wi-Fi. Don't know if there is Wi-Fi in there, so I might be hotspotting from my phone and streaming Football Manager tomorrow, hotspotted on 4G on my phone. I hope it's got a good signal in there, otherwise I'll just record my matches and put them out on Monday, I guess, which won't be a disaster. But it is now half past five. I'm heading back over there. It's about a 10 minute walk to get back into the NEC and we're then gonna get the train into Birmingham and go and find some barbecue food. I've also been studying the menu of the barbecue place to work out how I can have barbecue without having anything that's got refined flour, added sugar, or deep fried food in. I think I have a plan. There's rabbits out on the field outside the hotel room. Hello rabbits. That's awesome. I reckon that's enough stuff for me to have brought for one night. I'm quite impressed with that. Back inside, that hotel is actually much, much closer than the one we normally stay in for EGX. Or well, I have already got EGX booked for this year, I think. Future Kev, remember this for next year. It's really, 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 really cold on this platform. I don't know if I want barbecue food this badly. I might just get a sandwich in the hotel. Oh, I can't have bread! No! <laughs> many times. I feel like there's probably a more direct route than the one we're coming on. But... I forgot this was the restaurant where I get to pick the music. Track one of Kev's selection. Hey ya by the Outcast. Food consumed. I am a little bit upset with the music selection process in here. They're finally playing the last of my five songs. I assumed they'd play all five in a row, but they've been spread out over the meal, which I guess is okay. Fleur, country house. 
food consumed. And it was awesome. Well, they need to clean these walls. Yeah, they're pretty Graffiti all over them. Actually, I think I made that same gag when I was in here in September. So, just imagine I said something funny. But I'm not walking down this weird, round the back of the NEC thing for the first time in the dark. Luckily, it seems quite well lit so far. This is weird though. What a weird route to a hotel. There you go, we've had a tram and a lift today then. Have to make sure Andy watches the video somehow. It's just occurred to me now I've sat here with my trousers off that I haven't actually said goodbye to you. I'm a very good boy. I'm back in my hotel room at five to ten, six minutes to ten. I have still got this vlog to edit before the morning. It's an early start tomorrow. I've got to be back over in the NEC in the bring your home bring your own computer section for nine a.m. I think. So it's just like a normal normal get up for our work day. It's going to be potentially a long day tomorrow as well. If I have a deep run in this tournament, when it will be worth it if I do, but if I make it all the way through to the final, which is on Monday, the semi-final, I think, is scheduled to be at like half seven tomorrow night. So if I'm going to be here all the way through till Monday, it's going to be like eight o'clock, half eight, before I even finish playing tomorrow night. And then I've got to find somewhere to eat dinner at nine o'clock at night on Easter Sunday in a strange town, in a hotel that's basically a, a motorway service station. There's nothing else here other than this convention center, the airport and the hotels around it. it it's just nothing. So I don't, don't rate my chances. I think I might be eating in the hotel tomorrow if I'm still here, but that's a bit of a long shot. There's 64 people in this tournament. Only two of them make it through to the final. So it's gonna be a long day, but if I get all the way through, um, losing finalists gets seven and a half thousand pounds. The winner of the tournament gets fifteen thousand pounds. So I've got a one in thirty-two chance of winning at least seven and a half grand, which would go down really nicely around about now. So by the time this vlog comes out tomorrow, assuming I've been able to get it out because the hotel Wi-Fi is awful, but by the time this vlog comes out tomorrow, I'll probably already know. Whether I've, whether I've done it, but check over on Twitter and on the gaming channel, just on the off chance. I might still be playing. You might have the opportunity to cheer me on and it would be awesome to think I might be in with a chance. Well, I am in with a chance. It's a one in 32 chance. That's the best chance I've ever had in my life of winning that kind of money. So I'm excited. It's going to be very, very cool. And I've got my Lelouja FC shirt over there, hung up, ready to wear. There are some people who are in this tournament who've been sponsored. I didn't even think of being sponsored. I just thought, got to wear my own merch. The happy Lelujo day shirt is on right now. But enough chatter. I need to get this vlog edited. So I will say goodbye to you lot now. Um, I know it's been a bit of a weird one today. It's going to be a bit of a weird one tomorrow as well. But hopefully one with a real awesome happy ending. So hope you're having a good Easter if you celebrate it. If you're not, if you don't, I hope you're having a good Sunday. And if you're not watching this today, it came out. I hope you had a good day or you're about to have a good day today. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. Thank you very much for watching.